Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another special SNN report. I am your host, Jenny Jackson, reporting live from Odiwain, Somaliland. Here to give you the latest breaking news, what's new in Somaliland entertainment and even economic updates straight from Somaliland. If you are new to this channel smash up the likes and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep getting notifications. In Somaliland, Ramadan celebrations are often held through community gatherings, where Ramadan duties are preached, people are encouraged to forgive each other during the holiest month and advised to share what they have been blessed with to distribute it among those who are not so fortunate. The local mosques, madras, schools, and community gatherings are organized to prepare community duties for the holy month. Imams and religious leaders alike call on people to give extra attention to spiritual activities organized by communities in Somaliland. The spirit is encouraging people to acquire a profound sense of devotion, inspiring them to work together and help one another and instilling virtue. Ramadan is known to be the month of generosity, and in every city, in Somaliland, a number of youth organizations coordinate together to volunteer and work on charity programs. They would arrange to collect money from the wealthy, businesses, and diaspora to buy food and clothes to distribute to poorer families. These charities would also arrange daily after meals in mosque yards open for the homeless and poor families who cannot afford to buy food to break their fast. Restaurants and cafes are all closed during the day, and no business is expected to be serving food or beverage while people are fasting. But once the fast is ended by Maghrib, sunset, time, they open up and start serving dates and water before moving along to serve what's on the menu. In neighborhoods, male members tend to go to the neighboring mosque for Maghrib prayers before coming back to have iftar with their families. Usually, Somalilanders prefer spending their Ramadan gatherings with their families for a warm homemade iftar. Somaliland's unique traditional iftar meals are served with various dishes like bagai, a crunchy roughed pastry made from crushed black-eyed beans blended with chopped onions, garlic, and peppers. Bagai is usually served with a shidney, shigni, a spicy green sauce, even though they are great just on their own. Sambusa, a stuffed triangular pastry filled with either onion and minced meat, tuna, or braised lentils, is also common for iftar. Another traditional iftar dish that is served is anjero, kanjiro, also known as lahu, laksu, a light, spongy sourdough pancakes, considered one of the most delicious Somali dishes. The anjero batter is made of a combination of different types of flours, including sorghum, wheat, and white corn flour. The batter is prepared in the morning and is left to ferment for a few hours. An hour before after, the batter is cooked on circular pans on a stove. Normally, anjero is the common breakfast food among Somalis and usually is eaten on its own dipped in oil and sugar, and accompanied by a cup of tea. But during Ramadan, anjero is a favorite after dish and is served with liver and onions, or with sakar, a meat stew. Anjero is not only a delicacy, but also is traditionally believed to be healthy food. Fresh fruits and custard are also occasional fixtures on iftar tables. It is a tradition to have Somali kawe after iftar and before the tearaway prayers. Kawe is the Somali version of coffee milk spiced with cinnamon and cardamom. After iftar, families attend the maxidiro, a short lecture held by an invited sheikh, where he recites Islamic stories similar to those of the Jummah prayer lectures. These maxidiros are often held every night before tearaway prayers. After tearaway prayers, people often visit restaurants and kais to spend their evenings listening to Nabi Amon, Islamic praisal songs, while the band plays cabin and kyud. Hours after iftar, it's time to prepare for the next day, everyone arranges their pre-dawn, sohor, meal once again. Another warm plate of serene. This is a typical Ramadan day in Somaliland that repeats for 30 days as people wait for Eid al-Fitr, three days of celebration of ending the fast. However, during the last 10 days of Ramadan, the local bazaar is exuberant with excitement as Eid approaches. Shops tend to open until late at night, 
and the streets stay lit and active until Soho time. Parents take their children for shopping to buy new clothes and toys. Ramadan in Somaliland carries a sense of festivity for everybody and collectively uplifts the communities and the whole nation. We wish all of our viewers around the world a happy Ramadan and stay tuned for more content just like this. Thank you so much for joining us again for another hot SNN special report this evening. I am your host Jenny Jackson, bringing you what's new live and direct from Odwain Somaliland. Before you tune out check out more of our videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content uploaded every week. Until next time assalamu alaikum.